Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Plays Donkey Kong Land 2 for the 10th anniversary. Uh, last time we um, started Clapper's Cavern and uh, we game over it, so now we're back with more lives and we're going to do this. I'm recording this Tuesday, August the 4th. Oh, hey! Nice, I'll take that. I didn't even know that was there. Fuck yeah! Um... It is my brother's birthday, though we celebrated it over the weekend. Um, and also, I was supposed to be doing the... I was supposed to be covering the Amico event today. But... Intellivision decided to cancel it at the last minute. Because of course they did. Damn it, why did I do that? So, how do you get past that if the water runs out then and you don't have Dixie? You're basically screwed there. I'll just take this path again. Why not? I don't know how I get past that now. Oh, but I don't have two Kongs, so that's going to be... Hmm... I don't know how I'm going to pass that now. Get incredibly lucky, I guess. Ah! Missed him. God damn it. Um, so, the Intellivision event was supposed to be today, but in the last 15 minutes, they canceled it and moved it to tomorrow. And I had already set up my stream and everything because we were going to react to it. And, you know, all that was set up, and then, of course, they fucking decide to cancel it. How do you get past that? How do you... Do you just have to be incredibly lucky, or what? If I knew about this trick earlier, I would have saved myself a ton of time. Not gone and got all those lives off screen. Oh, I just barely made that one. Okay. You're almost guaranteed to lose a con on that one. Okay. Oh, come on! Wow. This is infuriating. So... Yeah, I'm I'm a little pissed off because I uh, I did all that setup. I got everything set up to go to stream the reaction, and they're all like, "We'll send you an email when the video's live, or when just before the video goes live." And not only did they not do that after I had already promoted like th that stream of that thing. They fucking can't, they fucking move it. Last minute. And it's just like, I know I shouldn't be that pissed off about it, I understand, but like, I've been trying to be, I have been trying my best to be positive about the television Amico, but every time, every time I hear new information about it, it's just, it's like, it gets worse. Like, at, at the start, I was very positive. I'm like, oh hey, this thing's actually gonna come out, it's gonna have games. You know, sure, it might not be the most advanced thing, but that's not what people who are buying this are going for. Uh, just hoping I can get two rolls in and try to get under. Um, but as the, the, the more announcements and stuff they do, the more I'm like, I don't know, I think it's a little pricey for what these guys are offering. Um, and the big thing that's been a pain for me is that Tommy Talabrico's come out and said, oh, we're, we're welcome to questions and stuff and all this stuff, and the one question I have asked multiple times in multiple places, and that has never been answered, is, will the system have a pro controller? People keep asking if there will be real buttons, and he did answer that. The Amigo controllers will have movable buttons you can attach. The controller, that's cool. But will there be a pro controller? And the reason I'm making such a stink about this is because... 
if there's no pro controller, then basically they're saying you have to use this controller. And that's fine, you know, it's something to get used to. But even the Wii realized, okay, had some kind of professional controller. They had the classic controller. They realized, okay, people aren't going to want to play every single game this way. So even they realize that, you know, you have to have some kind of option for people to play games another way. And, uh... God, I got to the halfway point last time. I must have just barely done it. I'm not going for the O. Fuck that. Oh, or maybe I am. Oh, there we go. Halfway point. Thank God. Okay. But yeah, so it's like... They just don't want to... Like, either they don't know that I'm asking the question, or they want to avoid the question entirely. And if it's the latter, then that's not good. It means that they're... They have no plans to make a professional pro controller, and I'm not asking like an Xbox Elite controller. I'm ac I'm asking like an Xbox controller, st an Xbox style controller, like a regular ass controller. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm being such a stickler about it is because I'd like to have the option to use a different type of controller. Like the Amiga controller is fine, I don't have any problems with it. But like, if you're saying this is your only option to control the games, ah, damn it. I didn't... I should have paid attention if that was Bash the Baddies or not. I don't think it was. Oh, thank God. There's a hook there. Damn it, I knew. Wouldn't survive that. Oh! Oh, so close. It's just one of those things where it's like... Like, if you're saying this is the only controller option, fine. But like... But but people who are on the fence about buying the system... And want a... Okay, it's just fine, the token. And want to... Uh, but want to play it with a controller they're more comfortable with... You're basically saying to those people... You don't need to buy the system. Because this system is not for you. And it's fine, and I, th I and their market seems to be they want it. They want families to play this, and I get that. That is a that is a gaming market, but it is not the gaming market you probably want to aim your you know two hundred plus dollar console for. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many gaming markets you go after. I shouldn't have done that. The one gaming market that's going to support this are the hardcore in television fans or the hardcore gaming fans who are who want a system a new you know in television system that's who's going to support this and by not providing them an option you're basically saying oh this so the system's not for you then what's the point of calling it in television Like, it's just, the primary people who are going to support the system are going to be the people. Ah, damn it. No! Ah! Uh, this level is so frustrating. Holy shit. Um, but, uh... Because you're going to want those people. Those are going to be the people who... Those are the people who... And it's funny, because they're like, we open up pre-orders. Those are the people who pre-order the systems. Not mums. Like, not moms. Not dads. Not fucking little-ass kids. Grown-ass adults who like Intellivision and like retro gaming. They're the ones who are buying the system or pre-ordering the system. It's not... It's not housewives. Like, I think the team... Tommy and the team over there seem to think that, you know, people will just buy it because the name Intellivision's on it. Well, Intellivision doesn't mean shit anymore. 
am I supposed to get over this? Oh, okay. Ah, damn it. It's just this mentality that, like, people, they think people will buy it because the name and television's attached to it. And I don't think that's... Oh my god, thank you. Oh, this level's over, thank god. And television name doesn't mean anything anymore. It means something to retro gamers, but it doesn't mean anything to the average person. If this had come out, you know, ten years ago, maybe it would have meant something to anybody except retro gamers. Damn it. Okay, so there's something over there, so I want to get it. Good thing I got all those lives. But that's, yeah, that's basically my complaint with it, is that they're, they're just, like, apparent lack of, like, understanding. And, it, and it's funny, because, like, like, Tommy says, he understands, you know, he's worked on more games than anybody else. He has. That is true. He has done that. But on most of those games, he was just a composer. And I don't mean to belittle his, you know, profession. There's nothing wrong with being a composer. In fact, he's composed some of the best tunes out there. But the thing that makes it concerning is that... God damn it. Is that he's... As somebody who does one thing for a game, majority one th one thing for a game. If I could stop dying, that'd be sweet. Um, is in charge of this company to make a game console. Ah, oh, what what the fuck? How did that happen? Um, it doesn't look good because I'm not. Again, I'm not. Uh, doubting his experience. I'm not doubting Tommy's experience as a as somebody who's worked in the industry for years and years. I'm not doubting that at all. What I'm doubting is like his ability to understand what makes a game great. Like why people you know why people would want to play an Intellivision game. Like for me I like the Intellivision because it's a system that um it's a system that my uh, my dad bought and introduced me to years later, after the fact. And it's, it has a certain... Some of the games have a certain retro feel that I understand. I For years, and even still, I don't... Those early... That early era of gaming is still kind of, like... Bland to me, because the games were meant to be simple. But that's the point. The games are meant to be simple. It's like... Um, it's like mobile gaming today. They're meant to be simple experiences that you do for a few minutes at a time. They're not meant to be these long haul games like this. God damn it. What the fuck? Like, at the end of the day, that's what an Intellivision game is. And if that's what they're promoting with this new system, by all means, great. But again, that's for a facet of people who like those type of games. Which, majority of people who like those type of games, they're retro gamers. They're not people who go out and buy Xboxes. You know, well, some of those people do, but... Like, what I'm saying is, the market they're targeting, I feel like, is, is the wrong market. If they had targeted it when the Wii came out, oh, by all means, they would have. It would have been perfect. But, like, who knows? Maybe the Amico will be incredibly successful and will be one of those consoles from those old names, because we already had the Caligo Chameleon, which was Snake Oil. Um, and we had... We had the uh, Atari VCS, which is coming out, but look, God, it's uh, its own train wreck of issues. So, this one actually looks the most promising out of all of those. And even this one is not looking that great. But guys, that's just my thoughts. 
Next time on Zero Plays, Donkey Kong Land 2 for the 10th anniversary will take on Toxic Tower. Oh boy, see you then. Hey guys, I recently released a video on Jump Rope Challenge for the Nintendo Switch on my review channel. When you're finished with this video, check it out.